Hello, his kids. Get up and let's get started.
it's your memory verse time. So here it is. And if anyone longs to be wise, ask God for wisdom and he will give it. He will overwhelm your failures with his generous grace. James 1 verse 5. Wow, now get ready and say it with me. And if anyone longs to be wise, ask God for wisdom and he will give it. He will overwhelm your failures with his generous grace. James 1 verse 5. Good job, guys. Welcome to another Sunday. It's so good to have you here all in the building or online or wherever it is that you are watching from. So today we are going to be taking a look at three books and they are Proverbs, Songs of Songs and Ecclesiastes. They all have a, something in common. They were written by the same person and his name was Solomon. I don't know if you remember, but we did a series of stories about David and Solomon is actually David's son. Wow, isn't that crazy? So you can find these three books in the middle of your Bible. It's like next to Psalms, because you get Psalms, Proverbs, then you get Ecclesiastes, then Songs of Songs. And in some other Bible versions, it's called Songs of Solomon because he is the one who wrote it. So, do you have any idea what these books about? What these books are about? These books are about wisdom. They are full of wisdom because Solomon was one of the wisest people in the Bible. Isn't that crazy? Anyways, so some people, especially really small children like toddlers, like zero to three years old, not that three, zero years old would be touching hot stoves, but they don't always know the consequences of their actions. And without some of the commands that are in the Bible and the things that we are taught, they might just walk into traffic unknowingly or touch a hot stove or even eat lunch with dirty hands. Ew. Imagine having played in the mud all day while it was raining and then you come inside and you eat with those dirty mud covered hands. That is not healthy. That is not hygienic. So this is why we need wisdom and we need knowledge and understanding and we need commands so that we know what is the right thing to do. One of the three books that I mentioned, Proverbs, was written to teach people to make wise choices. And the Bible contains many, 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 a multitude, a wide variety for living a godly life. A wide variety of Proverbs for living a, a, a godly life. So today we're going to hear some of them. It takes wisdom to know how to put good knowledge into practice. So the Bible, I hope some of you have your Bible. If you do hold it up or if it's on your phone, let me see your phone, wave it in the air a little bit. Yeah, they're in the Bible. And today we're going to hear about three books of the Bible. I told you they're in Proverbs, Ecclesiastes and Songs of Songs that are full of wisdom. So let's get started. Does it surprise you that the best place to find wisdom is in God's word? I mean, it basically has everything. It has nice bedtime stories. It has someone, it tells a story about someone who loves us unconditionally. There's wisdom. There's some funny moments as well. It's just got a whole package deal, you know. And our big picture question is, what does God know? If you remember the answer, say it with me. God knows everything about the past, present and future. So again, we'll ask, what does God know? God knows everything about the past, present and future. Well done. Does anyone remember what Bible story we looked at last week? Anybody? see some hands, some shouting out, don't shout out. She must wait until your hand has been answered, just so you know. That's what is right to do. So last week's Bible story was Solom Solomon asking for wisdom. And that's right, Solomon was the king of Israel and God gave Solomon wisdom to lead his people. Do you remember who Solomon is? I say this in the very beginning. He was King David's son. 
And that Solomon wrote the three books I told you about, Proverbs, Songs of Songs, Ecclesiastes. Today, we're going to look at that wisdom which is in those books. And we're going to watch a video about Proverbs, Ecclesiastes, and Songs of Songs. When Solomon became king, he asked God for help to lead the Israelites. God gave King Solomon wisdom to lead his people. People came from far away to hear Solomon's wise words. The Bible teaches that there are two ways to live, a wrong way, doing what is foolish and evil, and a right way, doing what is wise and good. Solomon wrote thousands of wise sayings called Proverbs. He also wrote more than a thousand songs. In the book of Proverbs, Solomon said to love and worship God. He told people how to make wise decisions. If people listened to God's words and did what God told them to do, God would bless them and protect them. If they did not listen to God's words and obey them, they would make bad decisions and face consequences for their sins. They would not be happy, healthy, or get along well with others. Trust in the Lord with all your heart. Solomon wrote in Proverbs chapter 3, verse 5. He also wrote other wise sayings like, A gentle answer turns away anger, but a harsh word stirs up wrath. And even a young man is known by his actions, by whether his behavior is pure and upright. Some people do not always listen to God's words. Solomon wrote, Fools hate wisdom and instruction. He also wrote, a fool does not want to learn, but only wants to say what he thinks. And a fool does whatever he thinks is right, but a wise person listens to advice. Solomon wrote another book in the Bible called Ecclesiastes. The book of Ecclesiastes has wisdom for people too. Solomon wrote about money and work and how to live a good life. Many people seek after these things, but these things do not truly satisfy. The most important thing, Solomon said, is to love and obey God. Solomon taught that there is a time for everything, a time to give birth and a time to die, a time to plant and a time to uproot, a time to kill and a time to heal, a time to tear down and a time to build, a time to weep and a time to laugh, a time to mourn and a time to dance. Solomon also wrote a poem about love. This poem is called Song of Songs. Solomon wrote this poem to celebrate God's wise plan for love and marriage. Wisdom in the Bible shows us how to be like Jesus in how we live, how we speak, and how we think. But wisdom cannot save us. Only Jesus, who perfectly followed God's wise plan, can rescue us from sin. Wow, what an interesting Bible story about Solomon and all he did. Solomon was a wise leader more than 300 years ago. I mean, I beg your pardon, more than 900 years ago. I can't read today. More than 900 years ago, Wow, I need to start again. Okay. What an interesting Bible story to learn about Solomon, all he did and all he wrote. Solomon was a wise leader. More than 900 years later, God provided someone greater than Solomon. Do you know who that is? If you say Jesus, you're correct. You're in the right ballpark. <laughs> Anyways, okay, yes, okay. More than 900 years later, God provided someone greater than Solomon. Do you know who that is? If you say Jesus, well, 100 points to you, my friend. So Jesus, God's son, was sent and is the greater one. Wisdom in the Bible shows us how to be like Jesus in how we live, how we speak, and how we think. But wisdom is not the thing that can save us. Say wisdom is not the thing 
that can save us. Wisdom is not the thing that can save us. Yes, you got it, the rhythm, everything, well done. Only Jesus, who perfectly followed God's wise plan, can rescue us from sin. We see, we see through the books of wisdom, which are Proverbs, Ecclesiastes, and Songs of Song, that are in the Bible, that there are two ways to live, a wise way and a foolish way. Wisdom is fearing the Lord and obeying his word. If you, win, if you need wisdom, just ask God. Just pray and say, Lord, I need some wisdom in making some decisions today. And guess what? He'll guide you and he'll give you the absolute enough amount of wisdom that you could possibly need for that situation or for that day or for that occasion. God can make foolish people wise. His instruction is perfect and trustworthy. So again, back to the big picture question and big picture answer. What does God know? God knows everything about the past, present and future. Say it with me. What does God know? God knows everything about the past, present and future. Before we end off, I'd like to just pray. So if you can please repeat after me. Bow your heads, close your eyes. Lord God, you tell us in the Bible that if we lack wisdom, we can ask you and you will give it to us. Father, please give us wisdom. Help us to understand your word. Help us to obey your instructions and to trust in you. We love you. Amen. Amen, amen, amen. It's quiz time. We have some questions for you about today's Bible story. Are you ready to answer them? I'm ready. Your first question is, what is wisdom? Wisdom is fearing the Lord and obeying His word. Yes. Can you remember the answer to the big picture question, what does God know? God knows everything about the past, present and future. Yes. Simon wrote thousands of wise sayings. What are they called? They are called Proverbs and actually make up a book in the Bible called Proverbs. Wow, that's so cool. Do you know how we can get more wisdom? The Bible tells us that if we ask God for wisdom, He will give it to us. Yes, but sadly, that's all the questions we have for you today. See you next time. Bye. Bye. Have a great week.